We read today from the last chapter and the last verses in the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 20 to 25. In these verses, the beloved disciple who is introduced into the Gospel only from chapter 13 is brought in now at the end. When Peter follows the Lord, he sees the beloved disciple and he knows that the beloved disciple is a special of the Lord and the beloved disciple has the Lord as his own special friend. And so Peter is curious and wants to know what about the beloved disciple. And Jesus asks Peter not to focus on the following of others. Jesus asks Peter not to remove his gaze from the Lord. Jesus asks Peter to continue to follow as he said unconditionally. There are times in our lives when we look at the commitment of others, when we look at the honesty of others, when we look at the dishonesty of others and are either edified or disedified. We sometimes say the others are so dishonest, they are so corrupt and they seem to be prospering in life. We are honest, we are straightforward, we are ones who follow the law and we are not being able to prosper. At those times we are acting like Peter. Our focus ought not to be the dishonesty of others. Our focus ought not to be the untruth of others. Our focus has to be our own honesty and our own truth because we follow the truth, not because others are following it or because they are not following it, but because we are convinced of the truth in Jesus. And this is what Jesus tells Peter, your job is not to worry about him or her. Your job is to keep your gaze fixed on me and to follow me. And at the end of the gospel, we are given a hyperbolic statement. And the hyperbolic statement does have some truth in it because in the last verse, this is what the evangelist says. There were many other things that Jesus did. All of these, if they were written down, the world itself would not contain the books that could be written. It is hyperbole, it is an exaggerated statement and yet there is truth in the statement as well. Because it is definite that there were many other things which Jesus did. Because Jesus was God's son. There were many other things which Jesus said. What is said here and what is written here is only so that a person will be inspired by the Lord, will be able to imitate the Lord. And so our job is not to worry about what was not written. Our job is not to worry about the commitment or the lack of commitment of others. Our job is to focus on what is written, to follow it and to keep our gaze fixed on the Lord. Will you continue to keep your gaze fixed on the Lord no matter how committed or uncommitted others might be?